Hey everybody, I'm here today with a video on testing a car alternator with a multimeter. In this video tutorial, I will be going over the basic steps for testing the alternator of a car with a multimeter. This is an easy way to test whether or not an alternator is working um, and essentially uh, how well it is working, okay? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna start off by getting a multimeter and you wanna set it to uh, DC volts right there and you wanna set it to 20 volts. And you wanna attach the positive probe to the positive end of the battery and the negative probe to the negative end of the battery. You can see attach both of them like that okay and what you want to look for is a reading that is um, close to 12.6 okay so as you can see it's decreasing now because the battery is you know slightly losing charge because the door is open the lights are on in the car but you want to look for a reading that is close to 12.6 volts that's going to tell you that your battery has a normal charge okay now what you want to do is you want to start the engine of the car and then look at the new reading. And with the new reading, what you're looking for is very simply a higher number. And it's going to be over 14. And I'll show you in just a moment because that means that the alternator is then charging the vehicle. So if the alternator is charging the battery, that number is going to be higher. Okay, very simple. So we're going to go inside the car. We're going to start the car just like that. Start it up. I'm gonna give it just a quick second. You don't have to give it time, but I'm gonna be honest with you, it is absolutely freezing outside. You can see it's minus five over here. Um, and uh, I don't wanna freeze my hands off. So I'm just gonna give it a quick second. Uh, and then we're gonna go and we're gonna actually check the alternator. I actually have some notes here that I'm also just going to take out. They're my own notes that I've made for this video over here. So I'm gonna bring them with me, okay? Just so I make sure I'm covering all of the topics. So now that the engine has been started what we're going to do is we're going to look at the uh the multimeter right here and as you can see we're getting a reading of 14.44 now ideally um you should be getting a reading of between 14.2 and about 14.7 and that's because if you're getting a reading of uh lower than 14.2 it means that your alternator is not charging your battery as much as it should be it's under charging the battery therefore your battery is going to be dying in the near future if you're getting a reading of more than 14.7, that means your alternator is overcharging the battery, which could also be a problem because it's gonna run your battery down and your alternator down. But if you're getting a reading of between 14.2 and 14.7 volts, like I am right now, the alternator is essentially charging the battery properly and your alternator is working fine. This is a fairly new car. It's only like two and a half years old at the time of making this video. So, I mean, I would assume that the alternator would be working fine. So I'm getting 14.45 which is most definitely between 14.2 and 14.7. That's it. You want to test a car alternator with a multimeter. All that you have to do is connect it to the battery while the car's off. You're looking for a reading of about 12.6. DC volts set to 20, okay? And then start the engine, and then you're going to look for a new reading of, about, of, of between 14.2 and 14.7, even if it's slightly under or just slightly over, that's okay. But, you know, as long as it's not too much under, too much over. And that's it. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great car and driving videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.